Hello, hello, and welcome to another Aurora tip video. This is going to be a short one, probably under five minutes, and I thought I might show how I created this image. I'm here in Singapore with my new friend Dots. How are you, Dots? Hi, I'm good. How good. are you, Dre? Good. <laughs> so we went here last night with, uh, with the whole team, and yeah. we took photos around. It was a really good time. We're doing this thing we call uh, 80 Stays Around the World, where we're traveling from city to city. In each city, we meet different creatives and like one thing I really like about her is her very bold use of color and it's unapologetic. Thank you, yeah, Dre. You're, welcome. you're my inspiration. Oh, come on. So you can check her out on Instagram. She's at D O T Z S O H, yeah. right? Okay, we'll link that down there. Okay, so she'll sit here by me and watch me edit this photo. My lucky day. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so you're about to see, like, you know, I. To me, so much of photography and editing is the artist interpretation of a place. Like to me, I, I felt like, especially in the final version, like this was like an alien ship coming down. And it's incredibly confusing, I think, to people that don't know what it is. We know what it is because we were there. Yep. But people that have never heard of it or don't know what it's very confusing. It's actually like this indoor rainforest. And at one point every night, they start to fly mist out of this walkway up above. Mm. So I kind of find this totem here felt like it's from an alien. Mm, right. Take me to your leader kind of thing. Mm. Okay, so let's look at the original. Let me do a split screen here. And I'll do a little, I'll do a breakdown, okay, to show you what was what was done. Okay. So this is before mm -hmm. and after. Like that. That's amazing. Isn't that good? <laughs> oh gosh. And it look, it only thanks to Aurora, it only took me like five minutes to make. Wow. Yeah. Now look. I know people watching this, we all have different opinions on how much editing is appropriate. Okay? Yeah. It doesn't, like, whatever your opinion is, is as valid as anyone else's opinion. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Um, like, for example, one thing Dots does that I, I don't do, but I don't have a problem with, is like, if there's a sky and it's okay, she'll swap it out with a better sky. Yeah. And that's fine. <laughs> If, as long as you know where your line is, you know, mm -hmm. what you like, just mm -hmm. be comfortable with it. So, like, this one, Probably was quite inspired by you because you embrace color so much. I went a little over the top. No, it's good. Yeah. It's so good. Okay, so I'm gonna let's reverse engineer this. You can see over here on the right, we've got five layers. Yeah. So let's go back down to the very bottom layer. Okay. And the only thing I did on this layer is I pulled up the HDR enhance up to here, mm -hmm. right, and then I increased the smart tone just a little bit. Okay. So HDR enhance made it a little bit more like. I guess contrasty, okay, yeah. but it makes it contrasty on a small level. And then I went and did this, little bam. So what happened in this layer? This layer, I did a little more smart tone. I really increased the saturation, okay? Which I think is okay in this case because there's not that much color in it. There's just a little bit of color. Um, I think that's all I did here. In this case. Oh, I added some image radiance, mm -hmm. which gives it that sort of glow. So if I turn that on and off with that little eyeball, Mm. Because it has it gets a little bit of that glow, mm. which I mm. I like. Oh wow! Right, in some ways I don't like it because it gets a little less sharp. Okay, but that's okay. I don't mind a, a bit of blur. My life's a bit blurry. So then up up to this one, we go, and let's do a before and after this layer. Here just got a little more poppy, got a little more colorful, mm. a little more glowy. So I amped up HDR Enhance again, mm -hmm. up to 50. Mm -hmm. I did a little bit of Vibrance, mm -hmm. which are the secondary colors. And then I got the Image Radiance up and the Vividness. Mm -hmm. So when you do Image Radiance, sometimes it'll be saturated, but you can really get the colors way up with Vividness. Wow. You gotta use this. You don't use this, I'm gonna, do you? I'm gonna get it right now. You gotta After get it. This, I have to. You gotta get it. it is so it's great, simple. isn't it? Yeah, it's so simple. <laughs> You know, this one, Max App of the Year. Good job. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. We were, we were all surprised. Um, our partners at uh, uh, Skylum used to be called Max. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next layer. Okay, here I'm darkening the outside. Ah, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of vignetting because I felt like the outside was just a little gray yeah. and blonde. It was a little too industrial. Mm. So when I turn this on, you see it's just darker. It just kind of makes it beautiful. Yeah, it makes it a little darker on the outside. Okay. And the final layer, I forgot what I did. Maybe I didn't do anything. Um, 
Oh, I think I just did. Oh yeah, increase the vibrance a little bit to pop in just a few more colors here and there to just make it feel a little bit better, right? Amazing. I did one final thing, okay? Like George Washington, I cannot tell a lie. I did one final thing in Photoshop and if we zoom in here, like this is a super minor thing, oh. but you see how these leaves these leaves okay. are over covering okay. that. I didn't like that. I wanted him to be free. free, you know, like I don't, whenever I have a clear shape, I don't like there to be like overlap. You know what I mean? So then I had to go into Photoshop and I just did a little bit of removal right on the edge. Mm. So he's got a clean, mm. clean line there. Mm. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy that little Aurora session. And hope you have a great time using Aurora, using a weird situations like this. And um, you never know how it will turn out. Don't forget to follow her. Okay. Thanks, Trey, for the amazing tip. Hey, that's what I do. So I do. Okay. Thanks, guys. Love you. Bye.